Before I was a makeup artist, I was an artist, I suppose. I mean, I started very young when I was about 10 years old. I was always interested in costumes and just transformations in, I was very interested in fairy tales, never really drew things that were real life. All my drawings were very stylized. And then around the age of 14, I discovered people like David Bowie, Boy George and Cindy Lauper, and I started wearing makeup. So that's really when the makeup became something that I was using the same way that I had used paint to create images. When I moved to New York at the age of 20, uh, I was working as a textile designer and discovered there was this whole club scene. So before, when I was wearing makeup, there was nowhere for me to go. We would take a picture of it and I'd wipe it off. But now there was a way I almost like I made my living. And actually, it was from being seen in that world that I got my first professional makeup job that mattered really, which was Sex in the City because Patricia Field was almost like a godmother of the downtown children. And that really helped the ball get rolling. I would define my style as being very flexible. People have said to me, oh, I can always tell when you've done something because you do the lips a certain way. And I don't really, I still don't really know what they're talking about. But, you know, I guess you have in your mind's eye when something looks right. I don't like to send anything out that looks ugly. It can be bizarre. It, she can be bald and have three eyes. But as long as she looks beautiful, to me, I guess that's, that's what my aesthetic is. Like, I don't think I'd be very good working on a horror movie. But I love, uh, you know, I love science fiction as long as it's uh, almost like an Italian Vogue science fiction. It's always more stressful in the beginning of a project, you know, be it a fashion show or something where you know that they're going to want full-on transformations. I want to know what story they're telling. I want to know what the wardrobe, where they're heading with the wardrobe, what kind of hair they're thinking about. And then my imagination can fill in the gaps. I react to things. If I had to sit in a room and look at a blank piece of paper, I might be looking at it for two weeks before I drew anything on it. And, and doing makeup, you're really reacting. You're very stimulated. And it's always something new. I didn't really plan on being a makeup artist, so I, I'm very lucky that, uh, that I, I ended up in the right place. Mm -hmm.